Hey guys, today we are going to talk about price support in Houston being very, very bad recently. So let me tell you what price support used to be. At pre-release, it used to be free person, free packs a person of the new set. So if you had a hundred people, which actually happened, then the price support would be 300 packs. It also cost around $30, but you got this additional price support. So 300 packs given out is, what is that, like almost 10 booster boxes. So the winner gets, you know, almost close to two booster boxes, assuming 100 people come out. And that, when I first moved to Houston five years ago, that was the pre-releases that we had. The FNMs always had 40 people. The prize support was always in credit. And now it's just got very ugly. And I think it got ugly because when you have a lot of people around, then the store is more likely to be generous than when there's not that many people. Uh, F&M, like if it has more than eight people, that's considered a good F&M because that's considered a F&M. And the store, the same store, so this is not like I'm going to different stores. This is the same store with the 100 person pre-release, the free packs of person prize support, which is really good no longer has anything close to that in terms of numbers. I think the most recent pre-release was less than 12 people. So when you go from 100 plus people to 12 people, then your prize support goes from three packs a person to one pack a person. And that's what it was. And you might think, oh, maybe they made it cheaper, right? No, it was still $30 to go pre-release. And the price didn't change. It's just the prize support, you lost two packs a person which makes a significant difference because if you have 12 people playing on Marquette or an hour of devastation, your prize support is 12 packs. Mm, not the greatest, right? Not the greatest at all. So at the end of the day, something is not quite right at my locals. Um, and that's just pre-release. I've noticed that pre-release, but FNM, they no longer do store credit. They used to have pizza, free pizza for everyone. They used to have double store credit, which is, let's say you have 50 people and they all put in $5. The price support wouldn't be just the 50 times five or 250. It would be $500 in price support and it would be all credit. Now that's okay if you have 50 people because you assume some of these people, and they do, they buy singles, they buy snacks, they buy binders. Um, and it's that atmosphere where like, oh, everyone's trading, everyone's buying, everyone's having a good time. And I'm way more willing to spend money when other people are having a good time and I'm having a better time because they are having a good time than what currently is happening where no money is being spent at all uh, and FNMs don't even launch. So supporting a local game store is super important if you want a good atmosphere, but for whatever reason, maybe because of the five bannings in standard recently, maybe because of the masterpieces, maybe because the pack expected value is so low that when you do win FNM and the prize payout is in packs, it just feels bad. Like I don't know how else to say it, it just feels really, really bad to get paid in Battle for Zendikar packs, right? I mean, is there a worse feeling than that? Oh, you won FNM, great. Here's 10 Battle for Zendikar packs. Good luck. <laughs> um, from, a, from an open box nonetheless, right? So yeah, there you go. I don't know, price support in locals has been really, really bad. Um, and this has gone on for some time. I'm not entirely sure when it started, but I can tell you like when I first came to Houston, 100, play, 100 people at pre-release was very natural. It happened all the time. RTR was 100 people. Gatecrash I think was like 80, 90. And then Dragon Mage was still very high at 80, 90. And then it all went downhill from RTR. And a lot of things in Magic can be traced to RTR. Pre-RTR, post-RTR. And that was the main set. I mean, even the set before, even Innistrad, which was very close to RTR, you didn't see, uh, you saw lots of excitement. You saw pre-release uh, Innistrad, Dark Ascension, Absent Restored. I was at Williamsburg. And those pre-releases for that tiny store, the store paid $800 in rent. It was probably, it was a very small store, but they were packed. It was packed like, 
fists, like sardines. And now, I mean, yeah, that store's bankrupt. I assume a similar store of that size, you can't even hold an F&M. Uh, I hope Magic recovers. I truly believe it will recover. I think getting rid of the masterpieces might be a correct step. And maybe it's not, maybe it is. But the next step would be have better rewards. You need to really incentivize people to come up and give out, give up their Fridays. I always felt it was kind of strange that you had to give up a Friday. Um, I mean, give up a Friday is kind of a not like the right way I'm trying to say it. I'm saying Friday nights are a very important night for me because I work a lot. I work a ton of hours and Friday night is the time that I don't, I'm not working. It's one of the only times I'm not working because who else is working? Your clients are not working. No one else is working. So you cannot work either. I mean, try to get an employee to work on Friday night. Not going to happen. Um, you, you probably have to pay them like a little extra. And even then, they probably don't want to do it. So I've always felt that it was a sacrifice of a Friday night and sacrifice of time that's really, really critical and important. And something should be rewarded, right? I'm not entirely sure why our prize supports are so bad, but I know that they can be supplemented and in the past they were supplemented with very good promos. Brainstorm was a promo, uh, Swords and Plowshares was a promo. Why, do, why don't they give promos they know are going to be valuable? It gets people in the store, the store then buys more stuff from the distributor, the distributor then orders more stuff from Wizards of the Coast. So to save a few pennies here, and it's not even saving pennies, right? Because wouldn't like, it cost the same amount to make any promo? Why not make a good promo? Or why not make extra products? Or why not send, you know, at pre-release they send these boxes as price support. Why not do that for at some evidence, right? Send extra boxes that are specifically supposed to be used as price support and nothing else. But in the local stores in my area, and it's not just this one, I don't want to pick on just this one, but the price support has gone very, very bad. And I think it, it's all traceable to the fact that less people are showing up, so less profit is being made. Per, per. I mean, when you have a hundred people, you have people buying stuff all the time at night. I mean, people were in line to buy stuff all the time at night. And it was a great atmosphere, right? It was fantastic. It was like the best atmosphere I've seen from a magic community. And to go from to go from a hundred to less than twelve or to twelve, that sucks. That sucks. And something has to change. And I think the price support is a very big part of it. It's not the only solution, but it is a very critical part of the solution. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.